Welcome back class. I'm Mr. Teacher with the SAT Math Video Guide. Let's finish off test number five today. So number 15 has an extremely elaborate graph and for the first time I will not be drawing this as it's a lot of drawing and it's it'll be extremely tedious. So I'm since this um, guide assumes that I assume that you'll have you have the book anyways I'm not gonna worry about it much. So, Doug's biology experiment involved timing 12 hamsters in a maze. Each hamster received at least one practice before being timed. The scatter plot above shows the time each hamster took to complete the maze and the corresponding number of practices that each hamster received. Based on the data, which of the following functions best models the relationship between T, the number of seconds to complete the maze, and P, the number of practices? Now, first of all, this question has nothing to do with the actual value of t and p, no matter what. We need to look at the graph, so I'll draw a little bit of it. There are random points scattered around this vague horizontal connotation, and there's 40, and then there's 50. Now, the points are all between 40 and 50. So the best, the line that best illustrates this is a line right between, which is, say, around 45. It doesn't exactly have to be 45, but around that number. And the closest one to that is choice A, because if you remember, in a function, f of x is equal to the y value, and so it basically choice A is saying the value of y will be equal to 44 no matter what x value and that illustrates this perfectly fine. So choice A is the correct answer. And the main question of this section is number 16. The pattern shown above is composed of rectangles. This pattern is repeated um this pattern is used repeatedly to completely cover a rectangular region 12 L units long and 10 L units wide. How many rectangles of dimension L by W are needed? So let's just look at this pattern as a whole. So we need to cover a rectangular region 12 L units long and 10 L units wide. So first we need to find a relation between L and W. As we can see, the left side length is 2 L, but the right, right side length is 3 W. So 2L is equal to 3W, and vice versa. So let's start doing patterns horizontally. So assume that I'm not going to draw everything in there, but that's the pattern. So WL, let's draw another pattern, WL. And we'll keep doing this until we either reach 10L or 12L. And then WL. Now we have 3W, so that's 2L. So this is 5L. And then we move on, and WL, and then we move on, WL, and then we move on, WL. Another, again, another 3W, so that's 2L, so the total is 5L. So we have 10L, 10L units horizontally, or wide. Now we need to go 12L units long, and that's pretty easy. There are two L's per pattern, so if we just repeated six times, so three, four, five, six, we'll get enough L's because there are two L's per each one. So the end number that we get is six, pa six times we repeat the pattern vertically and six times we repeat the pattern horizontally. Now this will be equal to 36. Now that does that isn't that it actually is one of our answer choices, but it didn't ask how many patterns does it take. It said how many rectangles of dimension L by W. So each of these separate rectangles is needed. So then each pattern has five rectangles. So we have to multiply five with 36. And that would give us 180. And that is choice E. So I hope this helped you with your math preparation. This is the end of test 5. And I will see you in the next video.